Governor El Rufai commiserating with Francis Emmanuel. This comes within hours of an attack on the carpenter by youths numbering about six. Francis is in hospital with deep cuts all over his body and head caused by machet and knife wielding boys in Kakuri. His crime, he did not observe the Ramadan. I went to Kakuri market to buy wood because I'm a carpenter. I want to do silly nugging for one house. So as I buy wood, I carry the go stop, drop for where they work. I come up from there, say me I go find everything at the chop. Where I sit down, buy up at the chop. Then I saw six boys come towards me. They asked me, say I be Christian or Muslim, I don't answer them. They come ask me, say me I know they do fasting. Now they say me I know be Muslim, I know they do fasting. Before I know, now they gather me, begin beat me with cutlass, with machete, everything, pop, pop, pop. They wound me up and down. After commiserating with the carpenter, Governor El Rufa insisted that justice has to be done. He thereafter disclosed that he has already given a marching orders to the police authorities. We had warned before the beginning of Ramadan that everyone should observe the tenets of his, his or her religion but without forcing it on anyone or taking the law into their own hands. This is a case in which people have taken the law into their own hands and I've directed the commissioner of police to ensure that the boys that did this are arrested and prosecuted for what they have done. No one has the right to force anyone to fast or to practice religion. Whether you are a Muslim or not, you are entitled to do whatever you want. You are free to do so. The governor maintained that there is no compulsion in religion and advised religious leaders to preach proper conduct to their followers. And I call on religious leaders to preach to their followers to stick to practicing their religion without insisting that others must follow the tenets of their religion. It's a free country and everyone is entitled to pursue whatever faith he believes in without any harassment. The governor insists that acts of religious intolerance will not be allowed under his watch and warned that no one will be allowed to get away with any crime using faith as excuse.